Hello YouTube, DBodger here. It was time to do a video update on my Dualtron City build. Um, yeah, front wheel, back wheel are mounted, you know, again. <laughs> and uh, both controllers are running, so here's that. There's some slight differences from front and rear controllers and how they, res how they make the motor respawn. Um, but it's, you know, the first time this shit's all worked together, right? I do have a problem with the uh, controllers, and basically they're not talking over CAN bus. Uh, that's kind of a weird problem when they are talking over CAN bus. Uh, the front and rear controllers are both detected, but then weirdness happens. You know, hit the throttle, things get really stuttery on both motors. Um, you know, regen is the same way. Uh, I get CAN bus errors, stuff like that. I don't know what that's about. Um, I know that this is set to ID1 and that's set to ID2, so, you know, it's not like it's something stupid like that. But, yeah, they don't seem to talk to each other, and as a result, that creates problems for this as well. So, you know, here, here is my DeVega LCD, and I'm just going to kick the front tire to make it move. Yeah, so it's spinning, but as you can see, nothing's happening. <laughs> but if I do the same thing for the rear motor... I'm just going to kick the tire. There we go. Yeah, changes to speed. I don't know what that 999 means. Uh, I, I, somebody else can tell me. So, please leave comments in the uh, video if you know what the hell this means. Because what does 999 mean? I'd rather just have it display zero, like you're not moving. Anyway, um, yeah, right now, uh, both controllers, well, they're going to stay set up identically physically. Um, as much as I can. So this right here is, I talked about doing this. So that's a 8-pin IP68 connector and I have PPM and UR2 in there. You know, that's uh, what the 75100s call it. So that's all in there. This uh, cable right here, oh, by the way, so that's 8-pin male. And uh, this one coming out of the controller is 8-pin female, so I can't misplug them together. Um, and this one, of course, goes over to my terminal block, which I'll talk about in a minute. But this has COM and uh, CAN high and CAN low in it. So that's where all the throttle signals and stuff like that are coming in. You know, otherwise, here's your phase, battery, all that kind of stuff. And they're both set up essentially the same. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so this right here is my new terminal block. Come on, camera, focus. Focus. Yeah. So the old one was 10 positions, and now this is 20. I wanted to break out the front controller cable from the rear controller cable, and I just didn't have enough positions on the old one. And then I've also got four spare ones in there for something else, you know, like probably that, uh, that second connector I put on each one of the controllers. I might use them there. These two little jumpers right here uh, just simply transfer throttles signals between the two controllers. It's not how I want to do it. I want to do that over CAN bus, but CAN bus is acting weird. Um, yeah, when I use those two jumpers to go CAN high, CAN low, CAN high to CAN low, uh, the controllers, they stutter. They don't run right. Um, I get a lot of CAN bus errors. It's weird. So, yeah, I don't know what that's about. I don't know, some setting. I know this much. Uh, this controller is ID2. And the one in the back is ID1, so <laughs> it's not like there's some kind of a CAN bus addressing issue. It's something else, which I don't know yet. Um, some other setting, maybe. But here's just the uh, rear wheel spinning up. And variable regen. Well, that seems to work. And here's the front wheel spinning up. And variable regen. So that's all working. They don't they don't do variable regen exactly the same. I probably need to tweak some settings. Um, you know, so the back wheel slows down more slowly than the front one does. And I don't even know if I've got variable regen set right, because it's never been ridden, right? Not like this. It's just been bench tested like this. So next thing to do is to get this thing on the road. You know, these wires are up and out of the way enough so that they won't snag anything. The uh, back wires are a little bit more hangy-downy. <laughs> I might need to 
tie them up just a smidge so I can give this thing a test ride. But yeah, it's all working. It's the same way, same thing. You know, here's the back controller mounted on a, you know, glued down to an adapter block, and then thermal gap filler between the controller and the swing arm. And there's no heat here at all. It's all just room temperature. So I think that's probably resolved that problem. Um, here is the rear lights. All that stuff's still working like it's supposed to. So there's your brake lights. Of course I said in the last video I rewired how these rear lights worked. So there's your brakes and here's your running. Of course also these are running as well. If I turn on the other thing. So there we go. Now you can see those are running and those are also running lights over there. And they also work like directionals, like which is what's supposed to do. So yeah. And then nothing happens here because originally those were the directional lights from Dualtron and here's that side flashing so all this stuff works um, and of course that is all on this main switch and there's a MOSFET switch which I'll talk about again so here's headlights front running lights as you can see this stuff's not on or any of the RGB stuff like what's in here but I've got end cap lights too let me turn that one off and if I hit this switch so now you can see those are on but nothing else is on that's all I do just turns on these ones and turn that off and so this switch right here is my RGB LEDs so that's on now you can see all that stuff is lit up anyway uh, this over here is my horn button and all that stuff all feeds through this MOSFET switch down here. So there's four P-channel MOSFETs in there. And they carry the load so that none of this stuff does. The only thing that's actually a direct connection to something is this rocker switch for directionals. And that's not seeing any current either. It's seeing a couple milliamps. So anyway, nothing here. <laughs> in fact, there's probably more current draw for this little band of blue LEDs then because there's a little bit of warmth in there then there is anything else here just because nothing else sees very much current anybody knows what that is it does this quite a lot it tells me VESC fault over voltage I must be regen because I'm fully charged um, but it also will say over current which is weird <laughs> but uh, anyway yeah <sighs> I'm thinking that has to do with has to do with the fact that I hit regen and I'm at full charge so I might need to set the voltage higher just to make that go away anyway yeah pretty happy with how things are it's all doing the stuff it's supposed to do just need to put it together enough to go take it for a test ride